Thank you for tuning into my channel. It's Whip It Wednesday for Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020. So if you want to see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. So I can't believe that we are um, only 10 days left until the end of Vlogmas in July. It's been a real blast getting a video out every day. I will admit that sometimes it's a little bit stressful, but for the most part, I've enjoyed this process. I've had a lot of fun learning some new skills, trying out some new ideas, making some different projects, um, and sharing that with you on my channel. So thank you so much for tuning in to Vlogmas. We still have a few more days, but I definitely appreciate all your comments, all your well wishes, all of your... Um, you know, excuse me, all of your good vibes, everything that you sent to my channel. Um, I do want to send out a special thank you again for my mom. She's doing well. And I, every time that I read some comments about uh, what you say about her, I tell her and she said, well, tell them I'm doing fine. So um, I'm really excited that she's doing well. And I just appreciate, um, I appreciate the community and all of your well wishes where that's concerned. Now, for the projects this week, I actually only have one to show you, like, in person. And this is the super simple baby quilt. You probably have already seen it if you've been following along with Blogmas. This one, it's just a huge four-patch with a border. And I have um, some videos about it. One where we just do the piece of top, and then the other where we put this whole thing together as a quilt. Um... You want to zoom in a little bit? I got, I didn't zoom in on the kitties in this one. So let's get a little um, close up of these kitties on the back of this quilt. And I don't know the, the name of the fabric line. I don't think that it had like a good salvage. So I think it's okay. Um, but I think it was really cute and it kind of coordinated with the colors on the front. And so that's why I picked it. So, um, I like the way that this turned out. Usually when I make something um, and I tell people, they go, well, who's that for? And I really don't know who this is for. I just made it um, to recreate one of my um, older quilts. So, but I do have it and it's ready in case there's a baby that needs a quilt. I don't know. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that normally I don't make baby quilts. So this is pretty rare, but I'm glad I made it. It was a good opportunity to use up a little bit of fabric and have some fun showing a simple technique. The other projects that I have for the week, I actually don't have them here physically. Um, one of them is some masks. I did a quick uh, mask order and delivered those yesterday. Um, and then I have the most recent bear and I have a picture of that. I'll put a picture here of the most recent bear. I had to mail it off to its owner and hopefully they'll get it by this weekend. Um, but really cute. I like the way he turned out. I was a little bit concerned about his eyes. I think they're a little too high. But what I'm going to do is, um, is on that pattern that I used, and it's um, the Memory Bear by Two Nannies. Um, I'm gonna mark on the back of that pattern where I want the eyes, because I think they should be a little bit lower. This time I did like right at some notches and I, I need to go a little bit below that. So I'll mark that for the next bear I make. Um, for the coming week, I do have another mask order. The mask order that I just did was the elastic, but I need to do the, um, I have an order for some tie masks. So I'll be working on that. And then I have a pillow order and a bear order. Um, it seems like there's one other thing. Oh, and I have a ton of memory pillows to do. So I will try to take my time and, and do a little bit at a time um, to make sure that I get plenty of rest. We're actually supposed to go back to work next week, so I'm interested to see what that's going to be like. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm open. I'll, I'll do whatever I need to do, so it, it'll be okay. Um, if you have any questions about what you've seen in the video, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, 
Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to share Vlogmas in July with some friends, please feel free to do that as well. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you whenever I make a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in to Vlogmas in July. Ten more days until we're done with July. I can't wait to see what else we can come up with. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.